make I'm gonna try and talk less and show more so this is a thousand watt grid tie inverter and on a 30 to 60 amp power system it's gonna be really good okay and you can uh, I, I gotta do some math on all of this stuff to figure out where you're at as far as power production versus uh, watts okay because watts it doesn't at AC voltage is not as many amps as it is at DC voltage okay a thousand watts of AC is like maybe 12 13 amps okay yeah uh, but this machine takes you know more than 12 or 13 amps to make that thousand watts the thing is it's not watt for watt when you go solar panel to AC power and that's what a lot of people like to talk about and in reality is no no that's not the case it, it is not watt for watt there's a there's a mathematical conversion that you do and what stays consistent is the amps minus about 15 percent in the conversion so I did a bunch of math on on grid, uh, grid tie inverters after I found out that if I was trying to run a 300 watt grid tie inverter off of a, a, a 30 amp power system, it was just burning the inverter. A 1000 watt inverter can, can kind of handle some of that stuff. A 1000 watt inverter was twice the money of a 300 watt inverter. So you do the math, okay, it's, it's a better deal. You spend a little more money, but it's a better deal. Now the, what I have done here is I installed a relatively short cable on here with this type of a plug which is what I've kind of standardized with my system off of the panels I have a, a relatively short 10 foot extension cord just so that I can park this box in a, uh, a water resistant container uh, we don't want this out in the rain we need it to be technically indoors but it can be just in a small shelter or something like that uh, and then run a standard power cord from this, plug it into a regular, uh, you know, 110, 120 AC outlet. It uses a computer cord, so if you ever lose it, just go and get a three element computer cord. Uh, you plug that into an element, it will back feed up to 1000 watts into the grid. Now, is that going to make your meter spin backwards and give you a $100 check every month from the power company? No, no it's not. What it will do is it will reduce your electric bill as long as you're not using a smart meter. If you're using a smart meter, they kind of figure it out and they still charge you for the power management, which really sucks. And then if you're going to save money, you might as well use your off-grid system. If you have a dumb meter, the kind with a spinning wheel, it will greatly reduce the speed of that spinning wheel in the daytime when the rates are normally the highest. So what will happen is when you reduce the bill, uh, you would expect a 13 to $20 uh, per month reduction in your power bill depending on what you get charged and where you're at. So let's just say $15 a month or, you know, 160 bucks a year, 180 bucks a year, somewhere in that range is what's going to happen. So if you've already decided to make the investment in a solar generator off-grid power system and you have a... Uh, you, you, you know, what do you, what do you do to make money during storage? For example, this generator I bought 15 years ago for Y2K. Cost me money ever since, okay? I used it one big bad storm disaster. It was a hassle. It makes funny noises now. Uh, I, it goes to the, uh, the engine shop about every two years for its little tune-up and service. I hardly ever use it. Sometimes I got to run it just to burn the gas out of it that I had stored in it so that the uh, the gas doesn't go bad. And you know, I got to the point where I actually don't store it with much gas in there anymore because I that gas goes bad before I'd ever use it. And so on a 15-year investment, this thing would cost about uh, about 500 bucks. Yeah, back when I bought it for Y2K, or maybe it was like 3.99. I don't know. You know, 400 bucks. And then I spent extra money on the wheels and the cart that I built and welded. I mean, if I were to sell it, you know, build and sell these things, I'd be charging 500 And so what happens on that stuff, it, it just costs money. Now, if you make the investment in a, in a power system that makes about that equivalent power, you're going to spend about 2500 bucks. Okay? 
Probably buy 3500 bucks. Batteries, inverter, charge controller, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, it, it saves you money, but it normally wouldn't make you money unless you have this grid tie inverter. And that grid tie inverter can, you know, even with this thing in storage, what happens is the grid tie inverter is going to plug into my panel array. That plugs into the wall. Okay, this is separate. Now, I, I, I'll store it in this box with all the other components, but it, it works separately. Then, over the course of 15 years, it pays for about half of my system. Okay, now, is it possible this thing could burn up or go through some periods of not being right? Okay, you figure about two years in this inverter, the, the device has paid for itself in two years, uh, two, two and a half years, the device, if it outlasts two and a half years, then it's worth it to buy more of it, okay? Uh, I, I really expect to get better than that out of it, but I'm not even going to endorse any particular brand because these guys tend to just kind of come and go. And so that's, you know, one of the issues you deal with on those. The, uh, but, it, but it's one of the ways you can help your, you know, your, your investment and your survival gear and your solar generator pay for itself.